So Nvidia has finally lifted the curtains off its greatest and most powerful GPU to date, the 7 nanometer Ampere GPU. The first product to feature the new Ampere architecture is a GPU called GA100, and this chip is currently the largest GPU to be produced on the bleeding edge TSMC 7 nanometer process node. Now today, we will finally be taking a dive into the Ampere G100 GPU architecture, specifications, and the first products that it will be featured inside of. The Ampere GA100 GPU is by far the largest 7 nanometer GPU ever designed. The GPU is designed entirely with the HPC market and applications such as scientific research, artificial intelligence, deep neural networking, and AI inferencing. There's a lot of specifications and a lot of products to talk about, so well, let's get started. First of all, the NVIDIA Ampere GA100 GPU will be available in various form factors, ranging from a singular mezzanine modular card to a full-length PCIe 4.0 graphics card form factors. The GPU also comes in various configurations, but the one NVIDIA is highlighting today is the Tesla A100, which is used in the DGX A100 and HGX A100 system. When it comes to core specifications, the Ampere GA100 GPU from NVIDIA is a complete monster, measuring in at a massive 826 mm squared, which is even bigger than the Volta GV100 GPU, which was 815 mm squared. Now, the GPU also features more than twice the number of transistors at 54 billion versus 20.1 in its predecessor, which is quite impressive. Given the die size and the transistor count, the Ampere GA100 GPU is single handedly the densest GPU ever built. While the Tesla A100 features cut down specifications due to early 7 nanometer yields, which are still great considering the size of the super GPU, the Ampere GA100 GPU is in its full fat version is what we're going to look at first. Featuring 128 SMs with 800 with 8,192 CUDA cores, the Ampere GA100 also houses the largest single GPU core count we've ever seen. It's coming in with 8,192 FP32 cores and 4,096 FP64 cores and 512 tensor cores. There are eight graphics processing clusters on the GPU, each of the 16 SM units and eight TPCs. The GA100 GPU is a TDP of 400 watts for its Tesla A100 variant. The NVIDIA A100 GPU is a technical design breakthrough fueled by five key innovations. NVIDIA's Ampere architecture at the heart of the A100 is NVIDIA's new Ampere GPU architecture, which consists of more than 54 billion transistors, making it the world's largest 7 nanometer processor, third generation tensor cores with F32. NVIDIA's widely adopted tensor cores are now more flexible, faster, and easier to use. And and their expanded capabilities include new TF32 for AI, which allows for 20 times the AI performance of FP32 precision without any code changes. In addition, Tensor Cores now support FP64, delivering up to 2.5x more compute than previous generations of HPC applications. Multi-Instance GPU, or MIG, a new technical feature, enables single A100 GPU to be partitioned into as many as seven separate GPUs, so it can deliver varying degrees of compute jobs for different sizes providing optimal utilization and maximizing the return on investment. There's also the third generation NVIDIA NVLink which doubles the high speed connectivity between GPUs to provide efficient performance scaling in a server. There's also structural sparsity. This new efficiency technique harnesses the inherent sparse nature of AI math and doubles the performance. Other specifications include a huge 6144 bit bus interface which features up to 48 gigabytes of HBM2E memory and six HBM2 stacks that are scattered around the GPU die. Each stack has two gigabytes VRAM capacity per die, so to reach 48 gigabytes, you had to stack them four high. Each four high stack would consist of eight gigabyte capacity when six stacks equals 48 gigabytes of capacity. The memory is stated to be running at over two gigabits per second pin speeds, which would result in around 1.6 terabits of bandwidth per second. The GPU comes with several HBM memory configurations, but does max out at the 48 gigabytes, unless Nvidia wants to offer a six high or eight high variant in the future, which would raise the memory capacity to 72 or even 96 gigabytes. NVIDIA's Tesla V100S already doubled the capacity of HBM from Tesla V100, offering 32 gigabytes versus 16 gigabytes, so it's entirely possible that it could do the same with the future variant of the Tesla A100. With the specifications of the full fat G100 GPU covered, let's talk about the Tesla A100 graphics accelerator itself. The Tesla A100 makes use of a cut down variant of the Ampere G100 and offers 108 SMs, featuring 6,000 and 
912 FP32 cores, 3,456 FP64 cores, and 432 tensor cores. The car comes with a 5,120-bit bus interface and a maximum capacity of 40 gigabytes of HBM2 VRAM. The interesting thing here is 40 gigabytes of HBM2 would suggest either a 5 high stack design or a 6 high stack with defective DRAM chip on each stack. In the case of the former, this spacer would be introduced to the GF100 HBM stack to fill up its space. The card features a 400 watt TDP and which is 100 watts more than the existing Tesla V100 mezzanine unit. The card features 400 watt TDP which is 100 watts more than the Tesla V100 mezzanine unit. The PCIe variant comes with a 300 watt TDP but lowered its clock speeds. The mezzanine board has a GPU to GPU connection through the new NVLink switches which enables up to a 600 gigabits per second GPU to GPU interconnect and 4.8 terabits per second of bi-directional channel. The PCIe variant has a Molino switch on the board which allows a second generation NVLink with two EDR ports. In terms of performance, the Ampere GA100 GPU delivers one peta ops, which is 20 times increase over Volta GV100 GPU. The double precision performance is rated at 2.5x over Nvidia's Volta G100 GPU, which should end up being somewhere around 19.5 teraflops of FP64, since Volta had around 8 teraflops of FP64 compute power. This would mean that the single precision performance is up to 156 teraflops of FP32, which would be mind blowing for the HPC segment. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.